for anyone who's ever heard of Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's no doubt that you know about Raymond's existence. Jesus Christ. Signal poor, Lara. What are we looking at? We're looking at myth, except it's real. He's the cat that took the internet by storm. Why though? Is it because he's a cat? Is it his glasses? His hair? His his eyes? I don't know. But something about this cat caught everyone's attention. And to put a long story short, he is now the most valuable asset in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So, we're going back onto Nookazon. However, I'm not buying anything today. In fact, I'm the seller. You see, in last week's video, I ended up buying a Raymond's photo from Nookazon in a failed attempt to get scammed. I bought a Raymond's photo, the most expensive thing I have bought in the series so far, for 50 Nookmile tickets and 500,000 bells. Let's see if they actually give me Raymond's photo, or if somebody sent me else's photo. They gave me Raymond's photo. You see, here's the thing though. I already have Raymond's, and I want to work to get his photo from his very own paws. For those of you who don't know, when you get a villager's photo, it means that you've pretty much maxed out their friendship level, and them giving you their photo is seen as a massive achievement in the Animal Crossing community. So it's fair to say that I felt icky owning this. So I decided to auction it off, and because it's Raymond, I had a feeling things were going to get crazy. So here's the plan. I'm going to be selling my Raymond's photo as an auction for my subscribers and anybody else who wants to join in for 24 hours to see just how crazy people are for this cat. I also thought I'd add a bit of a competitive element to it, so I asked my Discord admins how much they thought I was going to make. All names are changed for privacy in this video, so for anybody who is on my Discord server, you can probably guess who I'm referring to here. So, I guessed 700,000 bells. Ice Ice Baby guessed 800,000 bells. Jigglypuff guessed five pounds, since they don't play Animal Crossing New Horizons, so we equated that to 1.7 million bells. Dr. Eggman guessed two million bells. Photography Studio guessed 1 million bells, and Laddie guessed 1 million bells for Crazy Raymond stands, and 200,000 bells for those who like him, but aren't crazy. Our votes were in, so all we had to do was wait for the clock to strike midnight before I activated my 24 hour bid. The clock struck midnight and the auction was open. I announced it on my Discord server, and so I went off to sleep. Looking forward to seeing the state of the auction in the morning. At least that was the plan, because the bid managed to spiral out of control in under 10 minutes. In under 10 minutes, the bid managed to reach 80 million bells bid by G, before I even had the chance. Are you kidding me? I had a bad feeling the bid wasn't going to budge, since 80 million is uh, quite a tough bid to beat. <laughs> so I decided to make another 24 hour auction, but for Raymond's poster this time, because surely that would be a more affordable auction for my calm and reasonable viewers. Guys, chill. <laughs> I ended up making another to try and give everybody a chance. So I left them up and actually went to sleep this time. The next morning I wake up to- You're kidding me. 500 million for a Raymond's poster. Something far less rare than Raymond's framed photo. It was a typo and none of us knew how to get rid of it or how to cancel the bid. So I opened up a third Raymond's poster bid and hoped for the best. As expected, the 80 million bid didn't budge, so we were talking about it on my Discord server. Until Poggers gets on. 80 mil? Weak. Watch this. It was all chaotic. 
100 million bells for Raymond's photo and 20 million for his poster. I was starting to feel like a scammer. Was was I the scammer all along? It was the bessel of the nookers on millionaires. I started this war and I wanted to see how far it would go. And far it went indeed. It's just a cat. <laughs> G then bid a billion bells, but it was a typo so they pulled out. GGG, well played. We kept it going until the end for the content. So the results were as follows. Raymond's photo, 1.6 billion, bidded by G. But because it was a typo, it goes to Poggers for their bid of 150 million bells. The first poster, 10 million bells by Poggers. But they did that as a joke, so they're letting N have it instead for 7.5 million. The second poster, that went wrong, 600 million, right, huh? Yeah, somebody who wasn't even a part of the Discord server, just some random guy on Lookazon, bid 600 million on the auction. That went wrong. <laughs> and the final poster, 40 million bells by Rock. That's a lot of bells. Just what makes Raymond so expensive? Because I, I don't know. I like Raymond, but I don't see why he's so expensive. So I thought I'd ask you guys. On my community tab, I asked you, why do you think Raymond is so popular in the Animal Crossing community? Let's read a couple out and uh, maybe try to elaborate on them. Smug villagers tend to be really popular, cats are also really popular, generally pleasing design is a new villager, and probably the eyes have a big part in it too. Fair enough, you know, Marshall is in competition constantly with Raymond for the number one top spot of villager popularity. And they both happen to be smug. The smug personality is, is quite charming, so I could see why people would tend to go for that. He looks like an anime student protagonist, with the suit and the different coloured eyes and the indifferent expression. I can totally see that. Let's try and think of anime characters that he reminds you of. His heterochromia, different coloured eyes, are one reason why he may be so popular. I've noticed that people wear different coloured contacts in each eye to make it appear as if they have heterochromia. It's become highly popular lately, and I believe that Raymond is the only villager with heterochromia. I do agree, the eyes are incredibly unique. It's incredibly cool to have. So let's, let's actually read up on heterochromia real quick. Heterochromia is the term used to describe a difference in a person's eye colour. Someone with central heterochromia has different colours within the same eye. Complete heterochromia is when they have two different eye colours. Wow. That's, that's really cool, oh my gosh. For the most part, your eye colour will remain from infancy. Research has found that eye colour may change in rare cases due to injury or genetics. Some people have two different coloured irises from a condition known as heterochromia. This condition is often caused by injury or trauma to the eye. This is really interesting. We could totally go on like this tangent or whatever. This is a really interesting topic. It's really cool that Animal Crossing would kind of include something like this. Because he's the first smug cat. Yeah, definitely, I agree. Because people love cats, people love smug, can't go wrong with it. We got some very interesting takes. If you want to put in your take, feel free to. Why do you think Raymond is so popular? This was an incredibly fun experience. Fun and chaotic, actually. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to do something like this again, because I don't plan on getting another Raymond's photo from Nookers on. I plan to get my own from, from Raymond's, but hey, you never know. I might do another one at some point if, if you really want me to, because this was honestly quite funny. Who pays a million for a photo, let alone <laughs> 150 million bells? <laughs> I suppose this proves that Raymond is still relevant, even though Marshall is higher than him on the popularity list, he still has crazy fangirls and crazy stands out there, still willing to pay so much money. Then again, I don't know if you guys bid so high, just, just for a laugh, but if it was for a laugh, it was quite funny. It made me laugh. It was a really fun video to make. Thank you so much for everybody who took part. And moral of the story, Stan Raymond.